Good afternoon. Um, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 8th of January 2018. Okay, in terms of the uh, starts, then let's just quickly run through them with you. In terms of the Asian markets overnight, we have the uh, uh, obviously the bull run continuing with Shanghai higher, the Hang Seng higher, and the Nikkei higher by 0.9%. So it certainly seems like the uh, the bull run uh, isn't stopping at all, with US indices certainly flying higher as well. Uh, let's look at the Nikkei, for example. You can see here potential breakout here on Nikkei uh, in terms of the Shanghai as well. Um, certainly pushing higher. It seems like it wants to potentially close that gap there. We'll see whether or not that transpires or not. It should be a, a different story altogether. But either way, you've got potential unfilled gaps below as well that has been left in terms of the Asian indices. In terms of European markets this morning, you have the FTSE actually negative on the back of uh, political uncertainty via Theresa May. Potential uh, cabinet reshuffle with a potentially replacing 25% of a cabinet, which again isn't a good sign. Shows that there's obviously instability, lack of faith and so on and so forth and lack of support for her as well. So anybody who doesn't support basically gets sacked, but that's what it sounds, seems like uh, and certainly is negative from my perspective. Either way, it's risk off for the FTSE 100. The German DAX itself is higher again, the French CAC higher as well, uh, certainly uh, being supported this morning in terms of economic data news. Okay. Uh, let's just see exactly what transpired here. We've had the uh, factory orders from uh, Germany certainly coming out on the uh, weaker side on a month-on-month -month basis, so certainly dragging uh, sentiment from that perspective. Uh, UK house prices as well, certainly lower. Sterling certainly falling as well. Uh, again, watch out for that. In terms of uh, Centix, so your European consumer confidence numbers certainly came in stronger than expected. Uh, industrial confidence as well came in better than number, better than expected. Economic sentiment, etc., etc. So everything coming on the stronger side. Retail sales certainly coming in on the stronger side as well. So watch out for any potential movement there on the euro uh, itself. Okay, so this is basically where we stand then in terms of uh, European economic data. Technically, let's see exactly where we are. Technically, from my perspective, extremely, extremely overbought now. Okay, it certainly is calling for a retracement. Uh, this morning, we did actually take out the FIB 75%, so very impressive on the German DAX. So either we now uh, potentially touch retest that breakout at 3.30, sorry, the, uh, the last previous high, or we uh, obviously reverse. So again, we've uh, held... Uh, well, we're expected to hold a FIB 75%. Let's see if we can actually hold that. Okay, so let's see how that plays out. Okay, in terms of uh, the next move in the marketplace. So German DAX is taking out FIB 75%. Will this be a topping tail today? That's the question. Okay, that's the question that I'll be focusing on. That's the question I'll need the answer for as well. Okay, in terms of the... Um, the actual uh, markets, let's just continue. Okay, let's just continue now in terms of the indices. Uh, French CAC itself, uh, the 10 minute chart certainly is wilting. Uh, the daily chart certainly is putting in a potential topping tail. Let's see if we can hold that FIB 75% zone. We have broken above it, so again, if we continue, the next level is 5535 on the European indices. 60 minute chart, uh, we have previous resistance equal, previous support equal resistance, but it's relatively weak now. Uh, certainly a weak argument there, so again, take that uh, from a perspective I mean you do have previous support equals resistance here if you fail to hold 5500 the next level you're looking at now is 5520 and then obviously the previous high which is at 5536 so watch out there uh, multiple unfilled gaps below again certainly need closing so again uh, is the gap up justified now that's the question you need to ask yourself uh, as a trader really that's the uh, perspective that I'll be looking at it from from okay so you've got gap fill here at 5470 looking for that gap to close now if you do go up to uh, uh, 5500 again again that will be a good opportunity for me to short that's what I'll be looking for okay we did actually hit a pivot high of 5500 on Friday so again let's see how the uh, the French CAC performs now I'll certainly be looking to target that 5470 gap and then obviously you've got the gap below at 5410 okay so watch out for those two gaps that's basically my interpretation looking for weakness there FTSE 100 certainly seems to have topped out here at 7727 it's touched pivot low of 7705 if it fails to hold 7700 then you are looking to potentially reback and retest those lows at 7630. The daily chart on the FTSE 100, obviously, we've broken out. The breakout level is the 7600. So, do we retest that on the back of political uncertainty? That's the question. Okay. Uh, all eyes on commodities, all eyes on the sterling the price of sterling as well. And sterling has reversed in the back of weaker house price data. So, let's see uh, how that transpires as well. Any reversal down to 7700 certainly will be met with fair support. Okay. So, let's see if the bulls can hold on here at 7700 folks okay that certainly is an area to watch out for if that breaks then you are looking to close the gap at 7670 and that's the uh, area that i'd be looking to potentially uh, uh, 
I am short on the FTSE as well, so again, my inherent bias certainly is playing out and obviously declaring that bias as well. Okay, so that's basically where we stand. In terms of the uh, for European or uh, Euro stocks, should I say? Okay, Euro stocks, again, another index I'm looking to, I am currently short. Daily chart circulate shows you resistance, so you are looking at resistance here. Uh, the 60 minute chart again you've got horizontal resistance so therefore looking for a retracement now we've had a rally from 3470 to 3620 so 150 point rally so certainly looking to get back there now okay so any potential retracement first of all close the gap at 3607 and then potentially retest that support zone here and also looking to potentially close the gap here as well at 3570 so looking for 3590 and then 3570 on the downside in terms of the euro stock so again watch out there okay folks i think that's a good summation really of of basically where the market is at okay uh, again looking for weakness here certainly overextended from my perspective uh, overbought conditions severely overbought conditions okay uh mr Tr the book the ridiculing mr trump has had no effect uh, certainly hasn't undermined his uh, his credibility thus far okay uh, geopolitical concerns still remain in the background in the Iranian protests. Okay, Mr. Kim Jong Un certainly remains there as well. Uh, and let's see how the market transpires in terms of economic data for the rest of the day. You've only got the FOMC members Bostick and Williams, so no real reaction in terms of economic data there in terms of tier one. So uh, really, it's uh, market sentiment. Okay, market sentiment. Now, given the fact that Asian markets still remain buoyant, that certainly is something to consider going forward. Either way, that's the status quo, okay? Uh, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Take advantage of that bonus and visit TradeSingler. Download the latest app. Goodbye now.